Well, hello and welcome back there, YouTubers. I am Protomara, and today we are reviewing Goldeneye Reloaded. This right. is the right. a um, remake, re-imaging of the classic video game Goldeneye 007 for the N64, the one that everyone seems to have fallen in love with, and I myself have spent many hours playing and fragging friends online with. Well, not online, but in actual, real houses. And this game doesn't do anything less than succeed uh, Goldeneye successfully. It's a very, very fun and uh, action arcade game, and it remakes the game very, very well taking most elements of the game into context and updating them with a more Call of Duty-esque type feel. Now many purists will say, well, I don't really want to play GoldenEye like I play Call of Duty, and I'm really sorry for you, but uh, this game does steal a lot of things from Call of Duty. It really, really does. That's all there is to it. I can list several examples of it, and if anyone wants to argue it, uh, more power to you. Please leave a comment in the notes section below, in the comment section below, rather, and uh, do tell me uh, how it doesn't rip off Call of Duty, because it even has some stuff in it that is directly related to Call of Duty's breaching style. So, let's get right down to it. Who cares if the game rips off Call of Duty? What's it matter? Because it's a good game. It's a fun game. Its mechanics work very well, and even though it's not as refined of a first-person shooter as Call of Duty is, it's still a great, great campaign to play through. And the remake itself adds new scenes and uh, new action sequences that you'll be able to play with, uh, making it uh, less action-y, single-player oriented and more of an action-adventure kind of movie-esque style like the uh, GoldenEye movie itself rather than the GoldenEye game that we used to play the 64 days uh, where you had to walk around and do everything on foot. Sometimes you'll be doing driving scenes like this and um, you'll be doing many different things in the game. Um, several things have been updated uh, besides the engine being able to run at 60 frames per second. This game is released on the PS3 as well as the Xbox 360. It's a uh, great pickup for anyone who really, really loved GoldenEye back in the 90s and uh, used to watch it all the time. Like me, I really did. I loved GoldenEye to death. It's a really, really fun and great way to uh, relive that and relive the GoldenEye Nintendo 64 experience. And it does have an online mode, even though the online mode definitely won't be anything like Battlefield 3 or Call of Duty. Um, you definitely get to play online and fray your friends. If you really enjoy this game and you enjoy the mechanics of it, uh, then that's something you might enjoy you also. Unfortunately, yeah. I really dislike the fact that, uh, you know, people kind of just fall over dead. And there's a lot less blood. And it just seems vastly unrealistic and more like you really are playing a movie than anything else. And I'm um, not splitting hairs here because you really do want to make it feel like the movie itself. Uh, but it just feels a tad bit too unrealistic to me. Um, you know, what can you say? It's a first-person shooter game. It's going to be unrealistic. Overall, I found the graphical innovations to be very nice, but not its main selling feature. Most people won't buy this game because it's got updated graphics, but rather because they really like the uh, <clears throat> movie, and they like 007. And unfortunately, uh, my favorite uh, James Bond actor, Pierce Bronson, doesn't star in this. Um, that's a very unfortunate loss for me, and I really don't like that. And Alec definitely looks different also. So, taking it back from the N64 days and taking it from movie purist standpoint, uh, this game probably won't excite you that much. Uh, but if you're not a complete, you know, I gotta have my movie this way, it has to be 100% to the T, uh, you should probably enjoy this game. Now, this game overall is for first-person shooting fans. Uh, it's not for anyone who really doesn't like first-person shooters or anyone who doesn't like arcade games because uh, even though it does include a multiplayer aspect, like I said, uh, you may have trouble finding people online and you also uh, may not be able to play the best of people online because, well, again, it's not Call of Duty and tons of people will probably be playing Call of Duty. That's the sad truth. 
Uh, overall, I did find my experience to be really, really fun. I really, really loved GoldenEye Reloaded. It was one of the more fun games I've played in a long time. And I definitely give it an S rank because it's not doing anything new, but it's definitely doing everything right. Although the graphics do suffer greatly, it's a great, fun, action-y oriented game to play through. Oh, although, do take note that I wouldn't pay full price for this game. So, if you do catch it on sale for $30, I think that's a reasonable price. And I still stick by my S rank. It's a really, really fun pickup. It's very action-oriented, and it's a great game to play.